December 17, 2021, I recorded a video of myself rapping a song I was writing called Crazy World. They can do it like that, but can't do it like this. Everybody wanna sing, everybody wanna twist me, never the one that can get with the tongue. Listen, this ain't a diss, but better know where it come from. Cleveland, run, run now. So, I do the song and I put it on a Bone Thugs and Harmony Facebook group that I'm a part of. And somebody in the group messaged me on Facebook and was like, yo, crazy has to hear this. And I was just, no, I was like, that'd be dope. The day goes by, I get a message from the dude and he's like, yo man, crazy put the, your song on his Instagram account. And I was like, what? So I went and looked at his Instagram and lo and behold, he had posted it on his Instagram account and you know, said, you know, much respect. As far as I remember, it got up to like 16,000 views. Make some noise! The late Lola Mitchell, Gangsta Boo from uh, Three Six Mafia and DJ Paul, they showed it love. And so that was just a crazy experience. I mean, I was like on cloud nine, like cloud 10, 11. I'm Whoa! April 6th of 2022, I actually released the song. So a few weeks later, I get a DM on Instagram and I think it's one of my homeboys. My home so I check it and it says Crazy Bone. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? What? And I was like, no, this this isn't crazy. And I opened it and it says, yo, my G, I'm trying to rock with you on this CTD project for show. Something along those lines. And I'm just like, you know, I click on his like view profile within the message to see like, is this really crazy? And lo and behold, it is. And I go... Nuts. Pause. Yeah, but that I'm, was crazy. I, I, I'm not that was crazy. I'm not. I mean, I lose it. Like, I, I ain't even gonna cap for y'all. I'm crying. Man, pull your skirt down, I'm B. I'm still trying to process this. It's like, what do I say? How do I react? Like, and I think I sent back a message. It was like, uh, I truly appreciate the opportunity, OG, or something like that. Some like praying hands. In my head, I'm like going crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to come off like a groupie. <laughs> <laughs> like some crazy, insane fan. You know what I'm saying? I was on cloud a million. <laughs> you know, if him putting the video on Instagram had me on cloud nine or cloud 10, this was like... There were a lot of thoughts that came like, okay, does this mean like he might want to like sign me as an artist? No, nah, okay. No. It's like, does this mean like I might actually have the opportunity to make a career in music? No, no. Why did he pick me? Had he heard any of my other music? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Be patient, chill out, relax. He's a busy guy. If it's for you, it'll be for you. When the time comes, let it come. And time went by, I just kind of had accepted that. And I was like, cool. I remember there was an Instagram story he had put online. It was on a plane. I and mean, he had posted like footage outside of the plane, just like on the clouds. And it was it was beautiful. And when I saw it, it just made me think of how beautiful of an, how, of an artist that God is. Like, I messaged him, I was like, man, that view is beautiful. I said, God is such an artist. And he was like, you know, yes, indeed. I'm going to send you the track this week. And I was like, oh, we still on. Dom the Marco. Marco. Okay. So I was like, all right, you know, I was like, uh, for sure, you know, OG, you know, I, I appreciate the opportunity, you know, whoa, it's still on. So some more time had passed. I'm going to delve into my personal life. Ah, uh, here we go again. So I had a situation, I was working a job and I quit the job. I was not working, time was passing and life was, was challenging to say the least. <laughs> Like, I got a job, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I promise you, as soon as I got off the phone with the recruiter, uh, you know, letting me know that I had gotten a job, I go on my phone and I have a notification on Instagram. It's crazy. And he's like, yo, I'm about to send you this beat. And once you get it, I'll tell you what the concept of the song is. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> So I went and checked my email, I saw it. I couldn't believe I had an email from Crazy Bone. It was like still like mind blowing. Like I'm actually come conversing with the GOAT, my GOAT about music and creating music on some artist stuff like, you know, collabing, right? I get the beat, I listen to it. I'm just like, whoa, 
you know, for me, that's how I feel. I was like, this is fire. And he told me what the concept of the song was. And I was like, wow. Like, I think it was an important topic to be addressed in the world today, you know, especially for the concept of the album. He asked me that I understand, you know, what, what the concept was. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to listen to it, write something, and I'll send it back to you, you know, get your feedback. That night, I wrote a verse, recorded it, and sent it back to him. I liked what I wrote, don't get me wrong, but I was very focused on the content as far as like what he wanted me to talk about and it sounded very important around this time i have been doing some soundtrack music for a podcast that's coming out a lot of the content i had done on there was also more based on what i'm talking about you know versus a lot of times i, I kind of i'm real heavy on flows what i was focusing on on that stuff was like what i was saying less of how i was saying it and so this was the same vibe i went with with the crazy collab and when he sent it to me, it had kind of an intro and it had a hook. I wrote the verse, I believe it was 16 bars, and I sent it back to him. I remember waiting to get his response on what he thought of my verse was like the most nerve wracking, tensious moment. I just was like, oh my gosh, is he gonna think it's like whack? This is one of the hardest verses I ever wrote because how do I approach this? Does he want me to come with that energy like I did on Crazy World? Or is he really wanting to hear my point? Point of view or perspective on the topic that he provided for me does he want me to rap like bone like what does he want and i had to come to the conclusion that like yo man he's crazy bone but you're sound of the rain be you and do you that's what he got you for right i sent it to him and then eventually he did he did respond all right so i remember i was <laughs> i was watching the movie with my family i, I wasn't even paying attention to the movie so i'm sitting here and i've uh i sent crazy my verse and he uh, replied to me on Instagram. I told him I sent it. He was asking where I sent it to. So there's a possibility he's heard it by now. And I'm just sitting here sweating bullets till I, you know, get his reaction or feedback. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty nervous, you know. Um, but if it's not up to snuff, I'd app I'll appreciate it if he says so. And, you know, just meet the task. If he wants me to go a different direction or flow wise, you know. I got it. He was like, I'm definitely walking with that for sure. Oh yeah. I was just about to ask you. Okay. Yeah. He said he was feeling the verse. I was like, all right, cool, cool. And so I was feeling good. But I told him, I was like, I'm gonna go to a, a real studio to, to record this and lay this down because I, you know, I wanted it to be as professional as possible. He was like, all right, cool. The thing was, I got the job, but it took a while for the job to start. There were like all these delays um, that the company was having. So the money to go to the studio was, was an issue for me. And then there was some health issues I was having, but I didn't want him to think that, oh, this guy's like BS and or he ain't on his business or he's like, you know, he taking too long. Or, cause that wasn't it at all. And I didn't want to be coming to him like, yo man, like I don't have the money to go to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to come off as needy or like I'm asking him for money and I don't even know this dude. And that's not what kind of party it was. And some people might think like, well, you could have or you should have, but this is a whole new experience for me, you know? And I'm trying to just kind of show that I can stand on my own too, you know? So eventually I was able to go to the studio, but man, this is a long story. I'm just, as I'm talking, I'm thinking of other stuff. Stuff. I was able to go to the studio, but the good thing with it taking so long for me to go is that I was able to listen to the verse over and over and over and kind of get feedback. Something just wasn't sitting right with me. It was like, something is not right. Something is quite wrong. At the beginning of my verse, it was real slow. It dragged, it dragged. <laughs> And the beat, it allowed me to kind of pick up the pace, but that's not what I was doing. And it ain't just about rapping fast, it's about how the beat makes me feel, what energy does it give me, and that's what I'm gonna come with. Do I follow the instructions Craig gave me, or do I be like, this is my opportunity, like the world's gonna hear me for the first time on a national level, I'm representing myself, this is my introduction, do I come on here and kill it for myself? This is a message that the Lord is wanting to put out into the world 
and it ain't about me. You know what I'm saying? It's about the message and it's about the truth. That was the heart behind what I wrote. But then I also realized, okay, yeah, the message in the heart is there, but that don't mean you can't put that funk on it. I mean, you you know, that, that don't mean you ain't gotta put that, that spice on it, that pizzazz, you know what I'm saying? So a couple of weeks that went by and then I messaged him and I was like, yo, I made some updates to my verse. Let me know what you think. By the time he had actually had the chance to listen to the updates I made, he was feeling them. But wait, there's more. I changed the beginning of my verse. And the thing, the reason I changed the beginning of my verse was because one night he was on Instagram Live. He was playing some of the album. And so when he played the song, he had asked me to uh, be on. I watched his face when the beat came in. The human racism. We the people, we the human racism. I wrote the hook. We the people, count that down, down. That song ain't done yet, but uh, I'm getting some features on that. Woo, I'm trying to tell you, man, I'm trying to tell you. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. That's the kind of energy he want. So I, I came with that. I came with it, you know what I'm saying? That, I, I feel like I came with that energy. You know, I changed what I had originally written. And so I sent him that and he was like, I like this one the best. I had already messaged him to let him know like, hey, there's a delay because I, I'm not able to get to the studio because of some health health reasons. And he was like, all right, cool. Then it was a financial thing, but I didn't tell him that or I wasn't gonna tell him that. And finally I was able to book an appointment at a local recording studio. And I told him like, I have the verse done Sunday, which I did. But then I had seen him put up a post on Instagram saying that the album was done. Bruh. And I was like, ah! And I don't know if this was before, this might've been like right before I went to the studio and my head is like, dang, did I take too long? Did I miss my opportunity? Or was he's like, yeah, the album's done because this guy's already got a verse and he's already, this is on the way. So this isn't something prolonged. Anymore. I don't know, but I ended up knocking the verse out. But I also added some some singing vocals over the chorus that I thought sounded dope. But when I sent it to him, I didn't want it to seem like I was overstepping my boundaries because when the instrumental was sent to me, it was assumed right 16, you know what I'm saying? There were no parameters set. Do the first verse or do the second verse, or I want you to rap over the hook. There was no instructions given. So it was just like some singing that I had done that I thought sounded dope over the hook. So I sent that too as well. As soon as I got home from the studio, I emailed him my verse, the raw vocals, an MP3 that was a reference track to know where the place the verse is at or what you know what it would sound like or what the goal was for it to sound like and so that kind of fast forwards and brings us to where we are now now i also kind of want to touch on the the point where he had went to the hospital i was crushed when that happened and it had nothing to do with us working together it had nothing to do with me wanting to hear more music from bone it had to do with this is a human being who is a husband and a father and he's fighting for his life and on an emotional level he had impacted me so much in an area of my life that was my artistry which was a huge part of who i am so i, I literally wept you know what i'm saying when i had uh got the news and that was a very hard time for me, you know, like, seriously. I could care less about the music or the songs. Like, you know, I know he recently stepped back out on stage with Bone. I know that had to feel good. But. <laughs> But for me, like I said, man, it, it won't even about Crazy Bone. It was about Anthony Henderson. That put me in a slump creatively to where I didn't even, I really won't do it much. You know, I hadn't put out much. 
I didn't, I just wasn't inspired to create. And I'm, I'm still kind of getting out of that rut now, you know, cause it was, it was, it was a hard time for me. My favorite rapper asked me for a feature as a guest. And if you wondering who, homie, take a guess. If the track ever surfaced, you'll know the answer is yes, crazy ain't it? <laughs> I just been uninspired, just been uninspired man. man. Recently, recently, you know, the past you know, events past with, you know, events crazy with, bone you know, being crazy in the bone hospital, being man, the hospital, it just, man, it just, it just kind of crushed me mentally, crushed man. And just kind of some things I've been going through. In my, personal, in my life, personal life, I ain't really had the desire, really had to, desire to, to, to put the to pen to the pad pen or pad my fingers to the keyboard, if you keyboard, will. If you will. Since, I'm, since I'm getting out, I've actually spoken to him just on some like, welcome back, man. Praise God, you're good. Praying for you. And he responded, you know, saying that he appreciated it. I just want to say it feels good to be back. Yeah. You know, I'm happy to be back. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a rough it was a rough trip, you know. Yeah, real <laughs> talk, dog. First and foremost, I just want to thank, you know, Jehovah God. I want to, you know, what I'm saying for hearing my prayers and all the prayers of all of y'all out there. I thank y'all for y'all prayers, you know, uh, man. They came through, you know, what I'm saying like people all over over the world were sending me their thoughts and prayers. I'm fast forwarding from around June or July of 2023 to now. So you might ask me, okay, well, what happened? What's up with the song? Well, the reason I wanted to, to put this and share this information out is because coming to the close of the year, I was really looking back on all the accomplishments that I made as an artist and, and trying to create this career for myself. And being able to do a song with Crazy Bone has to have been the biggest accomplishment ever. Like seriously. So to answer the question or anybody wondering, yes, I did do the song, but But wait, there's more. It was also funny, I heard him doing an interview, and this is shortly before he went to the hospital, but he was saying how the album was had 25 tracks on it at one point. Then he got it down to 21, but he wanted it to have 20. So he was kind of trying to figure it out because he, he makes so much music. So for me, I don't know if the song that I worked on will be on the album, or I don't know if the song that I worked on will include me once it's on the album. And if that's the case, it's still Still was a blessing, a crazy, no pun intended, a magnificent opportunity for me to be able to to work with Crazy Bone, for him to reach out to me and say, I want you on my album. That is uh, something that no one will ever be able to take away from me. If the song comes out and y'all hear me on it, praise God, that'd be phenomenal. That'll be mind blowing. If the album comes out, the song isn't on there, maybe he saves it for something else or it never comes out. With his permission, I'd love to let y'all hear what I did. Or if the song comes out and I'm not on it, but it's still the song, it's his album and it's his project. And you know, it might be like, you know what, this doesn't fit or somebody else might've had a verse that fit more along the lines of what he was looking for, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe he was just like, nah, and that's his right. And it was his right to also ask me to be on the project, you know? So there's no issue, there's no love loss. It's, it's much love with the crazy. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this. Thank you, Crazy Bone, for, for, for reaching out to your boy, The Sounds of the Rain. I, I truly appreciate it, man. So glad to have you back. If this ain't one that comes out, man, I hope that one day we can work on something else, but it's a pleasure for me to be able to say I did a song with Crazy Bone. Thank you all for, for, for tuning into the video. Peace.